Hello, this is Tom Coleman with Spectrum E News. This is the Spectrum video blog for April 4, 2021. April has been designated as Autism Awareness Month by many organizations. One of them is promoting a change in terminology to Autism Acceptance Month. I would personally like to go even beyond that to Autism Appreciation Month. In that spirit, I would like to express my appreciation to four autistic individuals whose lives have helped advance justice and uh, civil rights. First, there is Gregory D, who for several years protested an order of the Superior Court, forcing him to visit with his father and who had the courage <clears throat> to reach out for help. I assisted Gregory in filing a complaint with the US Department of Justice for violating his rights under the Americans with Disabilities Act. His complaint is pending with the Department of Justice. Then there is Stephen L, whose expression of a desire to vote opened my eyes to the widespread violation of the right to vote being committed by judges and attorneys throughout California against uh, people with disabilities in conservatorship proceedings. Stephen's case prompted the US Department of Justice to open a formal investigation, which in turn led to the state legislature passing a major voting rights uh, bill to protect the rights of conservatives to vote. <clears throat> now, instead of 90% of them losing their right to vote in conservatorships, about 90% of them keep their right to vote. Thanks to Stephen L fighting back. Then there's the case of Olivia B that came to my attention. With the help of her public defender, Susan Sindelar, Olivia filed an appeal to challenge a conservatorship order that ripped her from the community where she lived and the people she loved. Her case went to the California Supreme Court, which, which issued a ruling directing appellate courts to more strictly scrutinize such orders in the future. Finally, there is Ashley E, who was taken away from her mother and <clears throat> placed under the control of the public guardian by a judge who never once laid eyes on her and without her assigned public defender ever once meeting with her. The Court of Appeal put a nix on such practices and ruled that with few exceptions, conservatees must be in the courtroom from, for conservatorship proceedings. I salute these autistic individuals and commend their families for supporting their quest for justice and equal rights. So yes, autism awareness and yes, autism acceptance, but yes, autism appreciation too. For more information about uh, conservatorship reform for people with autism, other developmental disabilities and other types of disabilities, please go to our website at spectruminstitute.org.